because we're perceived as nothing but a bunch of little hoodlums you know we come from the hood so we're just you know bad people i don't like how people say that Ch all of chester is dirty and it's just like a bunch of violence and everything because that's not all of chester it's just that select few that make it seem like that so it's like you have that select few and then everyone's just like oh chester's this chester's that and you know that's kind of like towards the negative side when it's not all negative it's not so bad but it's bad at the same time because it's the people that live in chester that makes it how it is now how do the people in chester make it bad um i think it make it bad because of like what they're going through at home sometimes and what could like what they might be struggling on but like they don't know how to ask help for it so instead they just react how they react hello my name is joseph abner from chester pa and been here for 24 years why do you think chester is the way it is now I think Chester is the way it is now from a, a, a system of poverty. This is a system. It's You incarcerate all the black men and then you, don't, you leave all the black young men with no role models to follow but, act, but rappers and, and basketball players. And you wonder why every young black man wants to be a rapper or a basketball player because that's all they see. What happened is the adults not focused on us teenagers as how they should be. You're constantly in a in a, a a disprivileged environment. If you're constantly in a bad environment, it's going to affect you self-consciously. It's going to affect your whole person. It affected me. Mm -hmm. it, it, it made me something that I wouldn't I wouldn't have been if I grew up in a different environment. Um, it has made me who I am today. It, is, uh, it was a very rewarding experience. It's different from growing up now, young people growing up now. When I grew up, uh, we developed uh, long-lasting, everlasting friendships. Friendships that um, uh, were, were, were built on trust. Friendships that were built on families. My family would be my buddy's family. My buddy's family would be my family. In other words, it was truly a village that was taking care and raising each and every one of us. From the stories my mom told me, everybody was looking after you. It wasn't just your parents raising you. The whole neighborhood was raising the child. Uh, I feel uh, this program gives a lot of good opportunities, you know, and then to be brought into Chester and take the kids and, you know, do things with like college and, you know, it like it puts it puts your education first. Something else I like about Chester would be, um, I would say like the free events, I guess, um, the little piece on the streets and stuff like that like that's something really positive like they have artists come down you know do free concerts you know do stuff with the youth and everything if there was more money from the government there would be more jobs if there would be more jobs then our feelings do it wouldn't be so much murder, like people killing each other, people stabbing each other. I think if, I feel as though if there was more jobs and activities, the things that's happening now wouldn't happen, wouldn't be happening. What I would do to change Chester is say how important education is and probably add in some laws. We have to have more supports for our education system, you know, right now Chester High and, and, and the American it on the nose by design was was set up to fail. I, I, I'm trying to be politically correct, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. 
It was set up to fail. Chester Upland sits in the middle and is surrounded by Swarthmore, Widener, Newman, Cheney University, Delaware County Community College, and even more. There is no way for us to be, that we should be surrounded by such talent. Um, educational talent, tech, technology. There's no way we should, we should be surrounded by that and not receive the benefits of that here in Chester Oakland. I would like to see more recreation opportunities for our, um, I'll say, young, younger persons. I would love to see us have a, a movie theater. I didn't skate, never could, but all my friends went to the skating ring and they could skate. Uh, I would love to see a skating ring here in this community. Um, and activities such as that so that, that uh, uh, young people can, can learn the art of developing relationships and friendships by gathering together in places like movie theaters, skating rinks. Chester means the world to me, you know, it really does. You know, just working in the court system and, um, you know, coming back and giving back. You know, going in the, you know, the rough parts in the, uh, Chester, you know, the Wilmington Project, the Benner Home, uh, A Street, you know. I, I was one of them guys that hung out, you know, on the streets and was told that, you know, you would never be anything. So, um, I have um, done a lot of things, um, you know, um, you know, giving back to this city, you know, including with my mentor, Cornell West, he's my mentor. Um, you know, we talk, you know, every now and then. So, um, you're gonna always hear about me out in the city doing a lot of things, you know, that's just me. And I don't do it for money because it's not about money, it's about giving back, you know, it's about giving back. Yours truly, Cheyenne. Yours truly, Alexia Church. Yours truly, Marquise Johnson. Yours truly, Devin Holloway. Yours truly, Sheree. That's it.